What's going on? Ryan Greenspan here from San Diego Dynasty, along with my teammate Brandon Short. Um, we've been asked a bunch during the offseason to uh, explain a lot about what we do to keep in paintball shape. Uh, and there's numerous drills that we've worked on and come up with that, that vary from uh, cone drills and hill sprints. But the big thing is we've, we've come up with some great ideas. Yeah, you know, it's important to not only do your drills on the field, but also away from the field. So we've come up with about three or four phases that we um, have created that work on your agility, your explosiveness, and your endurance. Because we all know that paintball is a sport and you need to be in uh, top shape for this. Yeah. So, uh, like Brandon said, we have we have about three or four phases, and, and the idea behind this is you want to start s slow. Um, you want to get comfortable because in paintball, as you progress, you want to get better. So everything that we have, we start about 50% to get everything warmed up, and then as you get comfortable, we move through the, the phases and we get more advanced. And as we get more advanced, things get more difficult. And uh, and as you see, you're going to get more fatigued through these drills. So it's really important that we we stretch and we get warmed up because I don't want anybody to get hurt or or over over exhausted as we do these things. So. We got some good stretches? Yeah, these stretches that we're about to do right now are the same ones we do on Saturday and Sunday with Team Dynasty, and uh, we're gonna bring them to you right now. Okay guys, so after your initial run, you got your blood flowing, you need to, you need to stretch because that's very important for any type of sport. Um, so one of my favorite stretches is a basic lunge. Now for every stretch, we're gonna hold it for 15 seconds, switch, and then come back to it uh, for another 15 seconds. So the way this is going to look is our first one is a lunge, a basic lunge like this, down on your knees, and you hold it for 15 seconds. After that, you switch. So now from this position, we can have a few other variations that I like to work on to really get a little bit of a deeper stretch. So the way that'll look is you come back into your lunge position, and now you just put your, your leg out and reach forward. So now from this position, we're getting a bunch of different looks and a bunch of different stretches. Once again, we're holding it for 15 seconds and then switch. The last variation from this position, which is a little bit more difficult, is you lunge forward. And now with your left hand, with the knee up, whatever knee's up, you take that hand and reach back and bring that foot to your backside. Hold it for another 15 seconds and then switch. And backside. Okay, so uh, Brandon just gave you a couple of his favorite stretches and then I'm gonna go through a couple of things that actually focus more on your knees. As a lot of you guys know, I've uh, had a knee injury lately. So a lot of the things that I have to do in order to prepare um, are a little more intensive. But uh, the first thing that I like to do uh, is, or, or, I'm sorry, the first thing I like to do are squats. And so I'm always gonna come down and just squat just to keep, again, warming all these muscles and all these joints up, all right? From there, a variation is you, ste you step back one foot, so you're gonna be putting a lot more pressure on that the back leg, and this is actually where my injured knee was, and this is something that I did learn in rehab, is now I come down to a squat here, so I'm putting about 75% of the weight on this back leg. I do this about 15 times if you can. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll come inside five times, so I'll bend in, one, two, three, four, five, then I'll go straight over the top five times, and then I'll go outside, a little roll on the outside there. Uh, just like Brandon said, I like to do this two reps or three reps on each side. Um, so again, you stagger, so you put your front foot up, put the, the weight on the back leg, and you're gonna do these lunges. Inside, forward, outside. This is actually putting a lot of, uh, of work on your knees and it's actually keeping things a lot uh, a lot more loose and strengthening them up as well. Um, another good stretch for your IT band which is connected directly to your knees uh, and your joints, this is actually a really comfortable stretch, I really like to do this just on my own time sometimes, is you bend your leg 90 degrees in front of you and you keep that back leg out behind you and go directly with your chest straight over the top of it and kind of go as low as you can. Now the key thing about when you stretch is if you're just sitting here and you don't feel anything, you need to kind of tweak your body around a little bit until you actually feel that that stretch. You'll actually feel your body uh, wanting to kind of pull away from it. And a little pain is okay, um, but you need to realize how to recognize what pain is good and what pain is bad. Uh, if it's like a sharp shooting pain, then ease off it a little bit and kind of work that, work that area out a little bit more, okay? Um, again, remember while you guys are stretching, 
Right? It's all in your uh, what your body can handle, so don't overdo yourself. Uh, again, front leg 90 degrees, just lean straight over it. This is a really good stretch for any of you guys who have knee issues or anything like that. Okay, our first drill that we're gonna start with is a, is a generic sprint. This is gonna work on our speed. That's what we're, we're focusing on in this part. The way it works is uh, you're gonna sprint about 75 uh, to 100 feet. We're gonna start at 50%, do that twice. We're gonna do 75% uh, speed twice and then to finish it off with two more reps at 100%. As you increase, if this is too easy for you, then add an extra uh, four, go up to 10 reps or 12 reps. Uh, you can even double it. But always start with uh, two at 50% just to warm up, then another two at 75%, and then finish out strong with 100% every single time. Give it all you got. So during these sprints, since we are doing this for paintball, we want you guys to realize that when you're on the paintball field, you're either gonna be running left or you're gonna be running right. So what we want you to do is we want you to alternate footing. So if you're going to the left side of the field, Always start with your right foot on the inside and get ready to sprint this way. Now when you're going to the opposite side, the right side of the field, you always have your left leg on the inside and get ready to sprint this way. So we're working on exploding off of both legs and not being uh, stronger on one or the other. We're looking for that strong stability on both legs. The next drill that we've come up with is called an explosive bunker breakout drill. The idea is you set up cones about 15, 30, and 45 feet away. Uh, and it's a lot like a suicide sprint where you run, touch, and run back, except we're getting, we're eliminating the run back. We're gonna go ahead and touch the cone, the first one which will be like our insert bunker, then we're gonna walk back as our cool off. The, the focus here is on being explosive and then working on a little bit of your speed, all right? I want you guys to really focus on planting that foot and breaking out. If you have a partner, it's always really good to always have someone say, go, 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 each time that you wanna restart. So, if you notice behind me as Brandon's walking back, this is his cool off time. Okay, and then he's gonna get set and plant and run it again. I want you guys to do either two or four reps of this, whatever you're comfortable with, and you do one time, always breaking out to your right-hand side like we've, we've discussed before, and then do always the second time, breaking out as, as your left-hand side, okay? I, was, I want you guys to get comfortable and in the habit of always squaring up to your opponents. So as I'm going to the left side of the field, I'm breaking out this direction. As I'm going to the right-hand side, I'm breaking out this direction, okay? Uh, again, focus on your breathing as well. This cool down as you walk back is, like I said, a lot like a suicide sprint, but we're eliminating that run time, okay? So this next drill that we're doing kind of encompasses a lot of agility. In paintball, you're making a lot of quick, sharp movements. So what you wanna do for this one is you're gonna go into a zigzag motion. Um, just like we said before, starting in either your left stance or your right stance. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna explode to your bunker or your cone there, you touch the bunker just like you're inside it. You set up, pause, boom, explode again. So it's this um, non-stop movement, stop explosiveness. We're really working on that bunker to bunker movement. And what you wanna do is at the very end, to make it more challenging, once you finish it off, do a nice 20 yard dash back as fast as you can. And this is gonna really work on that agility, endurance, and explosiveness, all three in one.